Hey everyone, this is Julia from Fresh Start Budgeting. I just want to do a really quick demo of how I deal with reimbursements in YNAB because this can get a little confusing and tricky um, from month to month if you are trying to track money owed to you. So I actually create a category group for reimbursements. Um, and personally, I have kids that owe me money. So I have a category called Bank of Mom. I also have like insurance that pays me back money for various things. So I have a category for that as well. And instead of putting in transactions and letting the available balance go negative, um, I actually fund these categories and put a target type on them. So I put a target on uh, paramedical. And actually what I use is a savings balance target type, no date needed. And I like to fund it to $200. So, and I'll add the target to my bank of mom category. Same thing. I actually use a savings balance category for this $100. Nobody usually owes me more than, than that at a time. So what happens is that I keep a float essentially in these categories, 200 for paramedical, 100 for bank of mom, you'll see that they are funded. So let's say that um, I lend my son Rowan some money. I'll actually put it in the bank of mom category. I will note what it's for. So he likes to get Roblox and I'll put the amount, say it's $15.95 and we'll clear that. So what happens over on the budget screen is you have a pretty nice indicator that um, there is money owing and it's $15.95. And this is easier when the month rolls over because you don't have situations where you're car carrying over a negative balance and it's still easy to see. So that's how I deal with reimbursements. Um, there are lots of different ways. It's just one idea. Thanks. Have a great day.